we mentioned fear and where humanity is with fear overall. Would you say that that is one of the largest factors we're facing as humanity right now, one of our greatest growth opportunities? Or do you see other growth opportunities, not just individually, but as a collective? I know this is a big question, but as someone who has that creative spark and that observer mentality, you know, there are ways not just individually, but collectively, collectively we can grow. Do you have any insight on that? I think it's so easy to um, to fall into the pit of, of fear and anxiety and panic, especially stuff that's happening right now. And um, and it's not as if that fear wasn't there because it's been part of our collective human consciousness as long as we've been around because of survival thoughts and all those things. But when we realize that that's not it's the Einstein thing. We can't solve the problems with the same thinking that created it. We can't create more fear based processes to fix the problem. We have to up level to something else. So being aware of the fear, being aware that that's um, in a sense, our small self or less developed self that is in survival and that there's a, a part of every single one of us. That's why I write the way I do is because I know there's a part in every single one of us that knows what I'm talking about, that is in that knowing, that's in the knowing. And so when we can um, pull ourselves out of that fear mucky stuff and go, wait a second, how how can I see this differently? Then we, we grow towards love. We grow towards something that does not abide in fear. It's a huge practice because we're so, all of us, not all, 99% of us are have been trained that we have to be afraid. And when we go, okay, wait, that is what this paradigm says, but the paradigm of my spiritual traditions, the par paradigm of, of my um, godly wisdom says there's no fear. How do I cultivate and grow that? And it's very challenging because it's like, wait, you know, we can fall into the, again, fall into the pit of fear so easily. And because it's in the air, right? It's a vibrational frequency that sweeps through. And somebody says something to me and I go, oh God. And now I'm all of a sudden, I'm out. And I go, okay, I got to pull myself back up into, into this state of something other than fear if I'm wanting to make a difference in the world. So if we want to make a difference in the world, we have to train ourselves to think differently, to think outside the box of fear and you know the right and the wrongness of so much of the controversies in the world right wrong somebody's going to get some somebody like the road row versus wade somebody's right and somebody's wrong and and it doesn't matter who that is right or democrats or somebody is right and somebody's wrong and now we're always in this and how do we up level and most of us will go, ah, it's too much. I'm going to go have a glass of wine and watch some YouTube or Netflix. You know, it's like too much. I can't. But we have to go, wait, I, there's something I can do here that's different. How do I do that? What's my entry point? How do I find that moment of that spark? And recently I've heard a number of times is, um, what do you enjoy? Rather than going, well, how do I fix the world? It's like, go enjoy something whether it's a glass of wine or your child's company or being creative what do you enjoy uh i was uh when i was sitting in my chair and there was a reflection in my my desktop of of the world behind me and it was like oh my god that's so beautiful so when we can bring the beauty in when we can bring joy in that is a shift in consciousness that's easy right yes that's easy have a hot dog i love hot dogs so it's like have a hot dog and thoroughly enjoy it or my cup of coffee in the morning and in that moment you can consciously share it with the world or just go yum i am just in this place of wonder and wonder in this beauty of this coffee or whatever that is that changes the vibration in the world and you don't have to believe that in terms of, oh yeah, I know that, or people so yeah, I know that, but we have to actually practice it. So we don't have to do any big ohms or learn anything new, just enjoy your life, have fun. 
And that flies too in the face of so many religions. Like, no, there's people that are suffering. I can't, I should feel guilty. It's like, yeah, no, this is, try this just because what else can you do? Try enjoying your life and being that a gift to the world. And let's just see what happens. If nothing else, you're feeling better. You're enjoying yourself. You're bringing more joy to the world because your children might be around you or the other people around you and they go, wow, you're kind of nice to be around right now. And we make a difference that way. So it doesn't have to be any big fixing, healing, converting, just enjoy your life. And in a sense, if you can be grateful for that, just because, if you can, maybe you can. Doesn't be matter. The example you're, you're, of joy. Say that again. I'm sorry. Be the example of joy. Be the example of joy. Or be the example of contentment. Or be the example of not grumpy. You know, right. like some people are like, hey, I don't even know how to be around people that aren't bitchy. It's like, okay, see if you can be a little less bitchy today. There's a, st a statistic that says 70 to 80% of our thoughts are negative in nature. Yeah. So if that's true and you go, hell no, not doing that. It's like, okay, so how do you start that process of being less negative? Unraveling that negative brain bias, make it happen. Yeah, just say, okay, I'm gonna watch myself and see when I'm thinking negative thoughts. Excellent, yay, right? Yeah. And if you go from 80 to 79, you have made a big, huge difference for yourself. And if you go from 80 to 67, imagine how your life is going to feel if you feel 13% less negative. So we're not talking about big therapeutic processes that people need a coach for. It's like, just see if you want to be negative 80% of the time or more, that's what you're choosing okay high five okay and if you I, for me it was like hell no I, when i heard that it was like a hell no i i can change my thinking yeah. right i can change my thinking to think more happy thoughts by just going oh i love this microphone in front of me or i love the but you know, or I, you know just something less than something different then it's like oh i should have my scarf on different it's like yeah no it's okay the way it is whatever that is that's not negative we can watch that and see it and we can choose differently bada bing bada boom right and what great parting wisdom <laughs>